Oh, he's gonna hit it. That's not. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> Holy. Kyle! That looked like it hurt. It did. Kyle, Kyle, are you good, buddy? I was not. You might see the crumpled plane up there hanging on the wall. That's a now new souvenir from the X3 that is gone. Hey, it still runs and kind of drives. All right, it's burning. Brother! Oh my God. Brother! <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Man, I... Dude, that's kind of <laughs> sick. <laughs> Yes, let's burn it by the plywood. <laughs> We're done with this X3, so. Kyle, stop! Oh, it's not even catching. Kyle, stop, shoot. <laughs> anyway, this can's almost empty now. Alright. Alright, let's react to the video. Yes. It's December. I have to wear this. It's actually it's disguised as a head wrap for my head. You ready? Alright. Mm. You're trying way too hard. Well, if we try hard, then the oh video's gonna look good. Yeah, see, that, see, I was yawning. That's how boring that jump was. <laughs> Dude, that looks sick. And that camera rolled over, and I thought to myself, I was like, I could just gap this. You could not. That run up was way too shallow. Well, I didn't look that hard. You, I obviously drove through it at 30 miles an hour. And the funny thing was, is that Kyle never told us his plan. Hey, can you pick up my balls? <laughs> I was gonna give them to you anyway. I was gonna give them to her to throw in the water later. Look at the least stuff in this girl. The final voyage. Bro, turn your sound off. You gonna Snapchat for him? Yeah, record for him. He's gonna want it. I literally foreshadowed it. Oh, he's gonna hit it. That's not. <laughs> Holy sh. Kyle! Kyle! God, dude. The last thing I remember was uh, looking at the dirt and hitting, and I thought I was okay because it didn't hurt. And then I don't remember anything after. <laughs> Holy sh! Me and JD were running up <laughs> and seeing Kyle slumped over in this seat right here I was, was a the nap. sketchiest thing ever. We were like, oh my god. Kyle, Kyle, are you good, buddy? Are you good? Are you good? Dude, there's literally blood ripping from Look oh, at her hand. Have you not watched this video slow yet? Not yet. I don't know why I always have broken uh, phones, but it could have to do with oh the fact that my phone's currently on the ground and you guys kept stepping on it. <laughs> that might have been. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Hey, Cody broke it. He owes me a new phone. Do you want me to. <laughs> Wait, I literally just threw <laughs> Picks up the phone and just throws it on the ground. It was already broken. It's because you stepped on it. Watch. And broke it. <laughs> Look at how. Look. Like, <laughs> it looks so pissed off. Dude, oh my god. god. Are you, do you feel dizzy? Does your back hurt? Does your neck hurt? No, nothing. Any bones hurt? Hurts, just my head. Okay, well you definitely smacked it on something. Look, I mean, I you're never, not unconscious, yeah, so no, that's a good sign. They're sitting there talking to me like I had no windshield. I had a windshield and a frame. I hit so hard that thing just went... Oh, is that you in a car? This is my little car. It's not a car. <laughs> I basically tried to hit the step up. Or it really is a valley jump. And I tried to valley it, and instead of like landing like this where I would have been fine, I went like this and nosedived right into the face of the valley. And it started flipping, I was angled a little bit, hit right on my back Ooh. end. So I never really hit on the cage, hit right on the back end, and then flopped over back onto my wheels, but I was already kind of a little Twisted, angled. yeah. I went like that, and I just flopped over my side. So I did a complete front flip. I but was. the crazy thing was, is the distance you went from there to there is also the distance you went from there to there. Oh, me and Chris went back two or three nights after, and we just went there at nighttime, and like the distance from my impact to where the car ended was like 50 foot. Yeah, like about the same distance as how far much Yeah, how got. far the jump was, honestly. And literally, Cody said my winch hook ripped right off, and my winch hook was stuck into the ground. He sent me a Snapchat. Well, Kyle was trying to hit it this way, Nose dove, literally right here. His winch hook is in the hill, dude. Right here, this huge scrape. That's a big gap. Front flipped. Windshield's here. Tools are there. Side by sides there. Kyle's okay, but he's taking a little breather, and he's gonna need a few more packouts. So 
The reason I wasn't wearing a helmet, I literally wasn't recording. I usually always do wear a helmet, especially for recording purposes, because my camera's on my helmet. I've had people come up to me at parks. I've had dads come up to me at like riding parks and say, I really respect you because you always have a helmet on. And it shows my kid that they need to wear a helmet. I wasn't wearing a helmet that day because it was just a chill day. We were rode to McDonald's. We went to Starbucks and got coffee. Because uh, especially me having my X3 street legal, I go on and off road all the time. And if you're on the road, I'm not going to wear a helmet. I mean, people don't wear helmets in cars. So I mean, the same thing. Figure if you flip the car, you're going to end up with a cracked head too, probably. Granted, the likelihood of flipping a car versus the X3 is probably 10 to 1. So yeah, that wasn't like, really... You weren't planning on even hitting anything. I just found this jump out of no, nowhere. No, exactly. And it was yeah. just kind of like one of those, oh, well, while you're right there, oh, you know, I'm going to hit it real quick. It's a little jump. It's, you know, we're not on a track or anything. It wasn't a predicted day where we're just sending stuff. I wasn't trying to impress anybody. It was just me playing around. Yeah. It's that 30 seconds where you're playing around and you're not wearing a helmet. Fire, can you, you can end up with a big gash in your head and 10 staples. When, um, oh yeah, yeah, so, so when did you get hit in the head? I remember jumping and smashing, and I, I remember that. If you ever crash in a side-by-side, -side, what you should do is pull your arms in and hug yourself like this, because if your arms go out, you can risk breaking a wrist or smashing your arm in the roll cage. I've seen people lose fingers. If you hold onto the steering wheel, rips, you can break your thumbs. Much you just want, if you have harnesses, grab your harnesses, grab your shirt. I mean, I know it sounds crazy and you don't have the time to think about it, but it's, just make your natural reaction to go in like this, especially if you're a passenger too. Basically I hit like this and at that point I kind of started lunging up out of my seat because I only have regular seat belt. Started to go into the front flip and when I went <laughs> from here and into the front flip I landed on the back side of basically my taillights, cage, cooler, all that area. And right when that happened I was up out of my seat. I was up out of my seat and then that backwards impact made me go like this and just bounce back. It was an instant impact from behind and I just shot up and backwards. This, this thing. Right on this thing. But I mean, just if I had a helmet on, that right there, probably would have had a concussion because I hit that sucker hard, but so. A little piece of plastic right here to save your life. Here. And so that also at the same time knocked me out and then I rolled the rest of the way and ended up sideways and I was, as they were running up on me, I was unconscious for five or six seconds. My first reaction was literally me trying to, I was holding myself up and me trying to turn my side by side off. Cut it off. Are you all right, bud? Kyle. Oh yeah, there's, there's, there's the cheeseburger right there. Yeah, the cheeseburger yeah, right yeah. there. I had a cheeseburger in my glove box because we had left McDonald's, so I got an extra burger. You got eight cheeseburgers. Yeah, okay, I got eight cheeseburgers. I want to talk about like after, like we had to yeah. devise a plan to get you to an EMS yeah. essentially. Once I was unbuckled out of my seatbelt and on the ground, I kind of knew in my head what I needed to do. I couldn't really process what they were talking about. I was just trying to stay awake thing. and be comfortable. I was kind of like, I was very, very starry, yeah. very daisy. Yeah. I knew, and that's why I knew I hit my head so hard because I was very, very daisy. Parts are still falling off. Oh. The impact was so hard, it's still falling <laughs> off reacting. two weeks later. And I was sitting there, and they're like, you want to get in the x-ray? And I said, let me sit here for a minute and get comfortable and, like, you know, just calm down. And then I just kind of just, like, close my eyes, relax a little bit, and apparently I passed out. And they are like, Kyle. You were like, Kyle, like, hey, bud, and hey, bud. I couldn't respond, but I remember hearing Cody go, Kyle. For 15 a, seconds, probably. That felt like two seconds to me, so I guess I was out for 10 seconds. Kate started doing, well, apparently, a medical thing is a sternum rub. Like, that's how you wake unconscious people up, as long as they still have a pulse. That hurt. Because I remember it, and that's what did wake me up. And she's doing this sternum rub thing to me. And, and I'm, like, I'm like, I'm ah, like, ah, stop, that hurts. Hey, Cody's like, honest. you're hurting him. And she's like, shut up, he's waking up. Wait, yeah. so how do you do that? You it take your knuckles. Your, it keeps your heart going. Yeah, it, like, it hurts. So you get your knuckles. You get your knuckles and, and you rub, rub them on hard. there. Oh, it's like Indian rug burn on your freaking rib cage. Yeah. Everybody but. at home watching the video. <laughs> yeah, <it's> everybody <laughs> yeah, like, oh, it hurt. If you have something that's passed now, don't shake them. Do that. Well, don't try slapping them. Yeah. Dude, it was so scary because like at times you would just kind of ease your head back and we're like, no, Kyle, whoa, stay here with us. We had to like flip the X3 back over, get it back to Richard's house. Yeah, we had how'd, to, you, how'd you flip it? I guess in the meantime, they called Richard, which yep. is a friend that lives very local because we park at his house. He literally said, hey guys, if you have any problems, don't call me. I don't have anything to come back there and get you. And he was talking more like if you guys get stuck well we had to call richard he came just got a new truck you know you have a good friend when he hops in his new truck and just comes hot dogging through the woods to come pick your dumb ass up out of the trail because yeah. you just hurt yourself yeah so then they got me back to the truck basically i remember getting into his truck and i kicked my boots off because i knew they were muddy in my head i was like i don't want to get mud on his truck and then later the next day i was like i didn't even think about it i was like dude did i get blood in your truck and he's like 
Oh, there's a little bit on the headrest. I got it cleaned up though. The whole time I'm just kind of sitting there, I was comfortable. I just had my eyes closed, kind of listening to them, and I could hear like they're saying like two. Okay, we're five minutes away, four minutes away, three minutes away. I never wanted to open my eyes because anytime I open my eyes, it was just hazy and I got a migraine. So we pull up and I go, "Are we here yet?" And they go, "Yeah." I said, "Well, you better hurry up and park because I'm about to puke." Opening the door, I turn. They helped me like duck outside to hit my head. I just puke right on the ground, right apparently in the front of the entrance of the hospital. So you walked in, <laughs> blood streaming down your head, covered in mud, no shoes on. Yeah, right into the hospital. They throw me in a wheelchair and they roll me in. And then Richard said he sat out in the parking lot with the baby for like an hour, like just making sure like in case anybody needed me or anything. And he goes, dude, like probably at least six or seven people just went and walked right through your puke in the middle. Oh. <laughs> of the entrance. Me and Cody, while that was all happening, Kyle's two pack out full of everything. In well, I've cooler. got my cooler and then the two Milwaukee pack outs. Literally if you know me, out. I always break things when I ride, so I ride with a box full of sockets, and everybody knows that they're riding with me. I've got tools to fix everything. And then the other everything. side, I've got belts, uh, impact gun, air pump, little the little chainsaw thing to cut down anything in our way. So both those boxes got destroyed and parts blown any everywhere. Yeah. And then apparently sockets literally everywhere because they were just loose in the box and they just exploded and so we we're over there picking up sockets like really <laughs> 10 millimeters that. gone yeah destroyed no. it's they're probably in the next so, all, so it's x3 it's sitting like this this is the front two tires rear two tires and i pushed from this side cody pulled from this side and it went thunk and then we loaded everything up in the passenger seat and i drove it two minutes overheated completely I definitely have not had a fun week and a half with this concussion because I do construction and remodeling. I haven't been able to work and I've been trying to take it easy and uh, Tim just asked me if I want to go ride dirt bikes this weekend. I'm like, dude, I really don't. Like, I mean, I do, yeah. but I'm just trying, till the end of the year, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to ride anything just because I want. Totally Today good. I bumped my head and I had a, I've had a headache for the, since then. How do we show the picture? I can okay. show the picture of it stapled up and cleaned up, but I not with it cleaned up. I can't show you guys a picture of it actually yep. cut three and a half inch gash 10 staples we should give away a piece of the x3 of course having a street legal i have full insurance say on that the again obviously having <laughs> 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 oh wow that went <laughs> oh, my dirt bike, <laughs> dirt bike. <laughs> <laughs> obviously having it street legal i have full insurance on it so frame damage uh cage damage the whole back end blown out i've got full, <laughs> full coverage out. on it and i'm gonna turn it into insurance i'm gonna see what the buyback is and if it's reasonable i've got a few options i might turn it into a tube chassis car for, for like utv racing like Haley and chase just went and did i might turn it into a drift rig or pull the drivetrain out for possibly a jet boat project. Having the engine and drivetrain and the ECU, all that, will save me a little bit of time. So if I do end up buying it back and I do one of those three options, I'll basically be stripping that thing down and there's a lot of broken parts. We'll give them away. We might have to do some giveaway stuff on that. Without further ado, it's time to take a look at this bad man pajama. You head out? I'm head out. Miller? Miller? Like, you don't want to look at the damage? I'll see you tomorrow. I've, I, uh, I saw it firsthand. Um, first hand seen the damage. Yeah, it kind of gives me PTSD. So. Good night, Miller. Bye, Miller. Bye. Uh, Get out of my shop. Before we even go over the X3, I owe a huge thank you to people like Miller, people like Cody, Kate, Richard, everybody that was directly there, and then everybody that followed up. Something like this really shows who your friends are. The friends that called the first day, you expect that. The friends that call the second day to make sure you're okay and if you need anything, you know those are your good friends. The people that are calling third, fourth, fifth, sixth day, still calling, asking how I am, checking up. That really shows who your true friends are. And the fact that I got in that wreck and the X3 never even crossed my mind because I knew that was taken care of. And really the whole process, I wasn't worried because I knew I was surrounded by the people that I would trust and would call if I was in that situation. Something like that really shows you who's your friend and what quality of people I've surrounded myself. But you're not gonna surround yourself with those quality people if you're not a quality person yourself. And that's not me gloating on myself, but that's just me sharing. If you are a true upstanding friend, you're gonna gain true upstanding friends. That's why I love YouTube so much. It has caused me to meet some of the coolest, most upstanding people that I truly do call some of my best friends and quality people that I surround myself with. To the damage. This whole front end, as everybody's making the joke, looks like a Maverick Sport. Because if you ever see a picture of Maverick Sport, it looks like they got the chopped snub nose. <laughs> and this thing has got that going on. <clears throat> These have a gentle curve out. This right here should be out here. So that's pushed in. What yeah, this have, is almost vertical. Like, this is like, this should be like that. I'm not even kidding. Look at the radiator. So looking at the radiator, the bumper is pushed up into the radiator. Oh, right here. Look, if you shine the light. Just... 
you can see oh, yeah. how waffled right there. that is and banana that is. See this plate right here? Right. So from here to here should be a straight line, not that jagged. So Cody sent me a Snapchat of the hook, literally, because I had my winch hook winched in like that. It stabbed into the ground like this, and then the X3 kept going and the hook stayed stuck and it just sheared the rope right off and he said he came up and he saw the hook just sticking out of the ground like this. So yeah, front end damage bent. Frame right there, all where the mounts were, the A-arms connect are all bent. The radiator is leaking from somewhere. The mirrors somehow did not break, which is shocking because they broke both other times it got rolled. So the, I had a windshield on here, it was mounted through here. And it ripped the bolts right oh, off. Oh yeah, look, you can see what ripped it off. This bar is bent down, that bar is bent down. I did the front flip and I landed and it smashed basically the ground was right here and pushed down right here. Ripped the whole tub of the like belly pan out. The tail light's gone, tail light's gone. This thing ripped off, it was right here. And then she if you look and see how pushed the exhaust is in forward, like look at the CV clutch. Oh, uh, look, it literally disconnected. It. Yeah, it literally ripped it right off and pushed that all the way. And this is, this should be back here. Yeah, but look, if you look at it from here, yeah, this should be here. It looks like it just like is leaning back. Yeah. It's just chilling. So I think the RPM cutout is still okay, but it bent it right here where the uh, exhaust clamp comes together. So it sounds like it's got a major exhaust leak. Miller said it didn't smoke too bad, but there was some oil coming out of the exhaust. Kyle, your cutout works, bud. And it's a little smoky. They're all right. All the oil drain out. God, dude. The cage, cause it pushed in here, pushed like, that should be sturdy. This is the cage. Oh, yeah. You can see where this all got buckled and broke the welds here. I mean, this itself is a cage didn't do too bad, but it has been tossed on the side before. Obviously, it's all ripped out. Oh. Yeah, I'm surprised. Look, I literally just tore through it. All oh, that's ripped out. No interior damage, really. Actually, I don't know what happened here, but this plastic was sitting like that when I got back to the screen. I don't know if the frame in here bent. But that like almost seems too short to fit in there like properly. Yeah. My back end is super tweaked. The whole, like when I was driving down the trail with a video from up behind, the whole thing was crab walking. So I don't know if it's the frame mounts where the trailing arms mount or if the trailing arms are bent, but something in this back end is tweaked really bad. Obviously plastics and, oh, this one seems pretty good. Oh, the intercooler. Oh my God. This all fell out. So the nipple on the coolant reservoir broke off. The air box is broken. The frame right here is dented in. Oh, yeah. So the intercooler got racked and twisted. I don't know if you can get a clear shot, but it is literally like warped. I think. Oh, from it. right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God. This whole thing is like. You know, it's supposed to be a perfect square. Yeah, it should be like it's 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 warped this way and warped like a belly. Like this? Yeah. Oh my God. Nothing about that straight. I think I was looking down here. I think the throttle body boot came off. It's got a broken axle. I think one of the front axles is broken. Oh, the caliper is so bent. When we put up on the lift, it's literally got the biggest bend in it. I gotta take that wheel off actually. I'm not sure if this wheel is bent. Oh, oh. <laughs> can you see that? Yep. Oh my God. I don't know if you can see that by chance. So that's some of that damage. Obviously this whole thing's pushed in. So is the X3 repairable? Maybe. It has been through absolute hell. I haven't even made it a year. It has been one of my best memories. It has been something awesome to see how my channel has transitioned with you guys and grown and kind of formulated more into a side-by-side -side content channel. This blue turd has really taken me around the world a lot further than I thought it would. So 2,700 miles, 11 months, 200 hours behind the wheel of this thing. Countless times I've let a lot of my friends drive it. I was never one that would be like, oh no, I don't want you to drive my stuff. I always let people drive it. Luke's driven it to school countless times. I swear Luke just cleans it because he knows if he cleans it, I'll let him drive it to school. Yeah. <laughs> But this thing has been a fun unit. It's time to say goodbyes. I was about ready to say goodbye anyway because I was going to sell it to buy a new one. But it is winter time, so it might be a little bit of time to take a break. That's why I threw up a shop video and I haven't made too many videos lately because of this whole entire accident. So I've been working around it. So guys, I know this video went from kind of a funny topic and me just being lighthearted about it. And that's at the end of the day, you have to be about it like that. But it also turned into a serious note, really trying to be adamant about wearing your helmet. It's embarrassing for me to literally come out and kind of make the video because I know better. I should have had a helmet on. I had 
role models in my life that I've talked to and call me up and say, why did you not have a helmet on? That was one of the stupidest things that we've ever seen you do. It is a little embarrassing for me to make a video like this, but I also know if I can get out there and just inspire one or two of you to put a helmet on and you go and get hurt and you go, holy crap, I was wearing a helmet if I didn't have a helmet on, Maybe I wouldn't be here. Maybe I'd be in a wheelchair. Maybe I'd be a lot worse shape than I am because I took two seconds to put a helmet on. Who cares if somebody's making fun of you because you got a helmet on? They ain't gonna be making fun of you when they're hurt in the hospital. What do I do? If you guys enjoyed this video, drop down in the comments of your favorite memory of the 2021 X3 that is now no more. But please like, comment, and subscribe. We are trying to get back into the role of things. We hit that 100K mark and it's kind of slowed down. And I really want to pick it back up. My boy Garrett just called up to me and I was like, holy crap, I've been steady stumble at 103,000. I want to get this ball back rolling. So like, comment, subscribe, drop down, and tell me what you guys loved about that X3 later. What's, wait, what foot are we starting with? Right foot. Ah, <laughs> oh, I started going forward. It's okay, we got it, we got it. There we go.